sponsor here at American RV Restoration, where dreams come true. I want you guys to see this beautiful RVC we just got done from Miss Rondi. She wanted inside and outside show stopping window, and I think we hit out of the park on this one. Beautiful paint job, two tone on this, clear coat up and down, all new markers, new AC on top, windows resealed, new hubcaps, new tires, got the step working on this floor. We did the vents up here for, made a lot of extra storage room by doing that. We'll show you that on the inside. Up front though, what I really enjoyed was this cold and cool. We took off the propane tanks, hand this up the same way as the trailer. We got her a little electric jack on the front, so she has the ease of just hitting a button now. Doesn't have to worry about cranking anymore. Got a breakaway system put on there with a backup battery, so it's state of the art, so safety is at its finest. Let's go take a look on the inside, guys. Love these big doors. Got the step off painted up, of course. On the inside, this thing is a showstopper. You got a butcher block, table, and countertop in here. You got the huge sink in here. State of the art faucets. Shelly's awnings made the curtains. Two burner cooktop in here. Vintage microwave, black against the white paint job. Of course, as you know, all new floor on this. The front dinette was something that we really spent some time on, so she wanted a little bit bigger seating area. Normally the seating stopped about right here. We extended it all the way up into the kitchen and all the way up into the door on that side. So not only did the butcher block uh, countertop, but we did a little bit of extension and a little bit of a raise on that too. So that's different than most you would see, something that the owner wanted. Also, of course, new water pump. That switch goes down to the water pump. We got that fixed up and handled for her. As you see on the inside, of course, the white paint, um, the wallpaper on there to accent it a little bit, and the AC, a brand new Dometic unit, five-way with heat. New turnstiles, got the electric fan working that was out in this. Um, butcher block, of course, in this area. Remember I told you about the vent up there. Now, this used to have a big scoop in here that would lead for the fridge out. This one's ducted from down under, so we took that out for extra space. And up top here also, this used to have a huge vent here, so now this is all storage up in here. A little bit more wallpaper accent there. Of course, the brand new fridge, look at that. Retro looking, but brand new. Of course, black to accent the white. Wallpaper there. Went through, replaced all the catches with new magnet ones in here. New catches with magnet ones in there. I'm sure Shelly's awnings did the curtains for us. Um, outlets are new. Faces are new. Bedding all brand new. Two-tone on the paint job down here. To kick it off a little bit against the floor. LED lighting back here. Darker color to accent a little bit. And then my favorite's the bathroom. Come on back here. So the bathroom in here we did a little farm style is what we like to call it. Beautiful sink, beautiful faucet. Of course, butcher block again, guys. Got some little accents back here. Brand new toilet. Pex plumbing throughout. And I'll let you step back and look at that shower pan. Redid the whole shower pan on that. New epoxy. Of course, LED lighting throughout the whole trailer. New gel battery put in there, all the 12 volt system wired with a brand new inverter. We got the fuse box handled up on it, so it's got uh, fresh fuses, fresh breakers, all the like all the wiring. Good to go, travel across the United States. Another dream come true in American RV restoration.